Topic 8, Lesson 2, Arrays and Expanded Algorithm. The objective for today is I will use expanded algorithm to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers to find the product. Go ahead and write this problem down in your notes. There are 11 players and 5 substitutes on a professional soccer team. How many players are there in all on 15 teams? We're going to make sure we cube this problem. We start with circling our important numbers. So I see 11 and 5 and 15. Okay, I'm going to underline the question. How many players are there in all on all 15 teams? Okay, boxing in my important words. Players, how many players? So I'll know that's my label when I'm done. So I have 11 players and 5 substitutes, which would still be included as part of the players. Eliminate any information. I don't really need to know that we're worried about a soccer team, so I'm just going to cross that off. So I'm focused on my specific numbers. It says there are 11 players and 5 substitutes, so I need to know my total number of players. To find the total number of players on the team, I would just add 11 plus 5. It gives me 16 players. Now I know the two numbers I really need to work with. I have how many players are there on all 15 teams. So each of the 15 teams each have 16 players. So I'm going to be multiplying my 16 times 15. Go ahead and glue in your box diagram in your notes now. If you remember from our last lesson, we talked about using a box diagram. We break apart the two numbers that we're multiplying. The two numbers that we're multiplying this time are two numbers that we're going to multiply right now are going to be 15 and 16. So I have 16 times 15. We break apart both of those numbers to identify the place value of each one. 15, we can easily break that up into 10 and 5. So you find your 10 here and your 5 here on your box diagram. The number you're multiplying by, you also break apart. Remember, if I have a 2 digit by a 2 digit, I'm going to have the 2 by 2 box as well. 16, I break up into 10 and 6. Remember, you put your 10 on one and 6 on your other. The box diagram, we're going to multiply our numbers together and write the product in the middle of the box. So 10 times 10 gives me 100. 10 times 5, so this 10 times this 5 gives me 50. Now I move to this box right here and I do my 10 times my 6, which gives me 60. And then I have 6 times 5, which gives me 30. Remember that each one of these, when we break it apart and try to find the answer, each one of these would be my partial products, and we always add our partial products together. So using the box diagram, I'm going to set up my numbers, remembering to line up all the numbers in the right place value, and then I'll add them together. Okay. Giving me 240. So my answer would be 240 players, making sure I label my answer. Today we're going to talk about using the expanded algorithm, which is essentially the box diagram, but without the box. The expanded algorithm looks like this. I have my two numbers multiplied together, 16 and 15. And just like we did when we multiplied by a one-digit number, we're going to write my answers down below. We're not going to worry about carrying anything at this point. We're just going to write the answers to each multiplied number. And if you look over here, you will see the actual digits that you're multiplying to get your product over here. Okay, so I would start with my 5, and I'm multiplying straight up, giving me 5 times 6, which is 30, which is how I got this first number. And then I move over to the 1 in the 16. The 1 is in the tens place. So the value of that number is 10 because it is a 1. So I do my 5 times 10, giving me 50. Writing these down and below, I'm listing them out. Once I'm done with both the numbers in, in the top, and I multiplied by both those numbers, my both the 6 and my 10, I then move over to my 1 right here. This isn't just a 1 because it's in the tens place. I need to remember that it's a 10 being multiplied by both the numbers on the top. So this number right here, my 60, is from doing 10 times 6. And then I do my 1 and my 1 right here, which again, they're both in the tens place, so the value of each of those digits is going to be 10. So 10 times 10 gives me my 100 right here. Again, these are all partial products. Because I have partial products, I need to remember to add. 
okay, because I don't have my final product. My final product is what I get down here. So once I add all of these numbers together, I'm going to get 240. We're going to try another one of these, working it out step by step. Make sure you write the next one down in your notes and be ready to solve with me as we set it up. Okay, so we have 17 times 13. Using expanded algorithm, I'm going to go step by step and make sure I multiply each place value. So I start with my 3. 3 multiplied up 3 times 7 gives me 21. I write that 21 down below. I'm going to go ahead and erase this actually and rewrite it to give myself more space. You should have plenty of space in your math journals. Okay, so seven, 17 times 13. Again, my 3 multiplied straight up times my 7 gives me 21, so I write 21 down below. Now I multiply my 3 times this 1 over here. Again, this one is in the tens place, and if I broke apart the number 17, it would break apart into 10 and 7. So I multiplied my 3 times my 7 and got 21. Now I need to do 3 times 10, giving me 30. I'm done with both of the digits there, so I move over to this one right here. Again, this one is in the tens place. If I broke apart 13, I would have 10 and 3. So it's 10 times 7, so 10 times the 7, giving me 70. I'm going to write this here for you in case you've forgotten where those numbers came from. So I'm doing my 10 times my 7. Now I move to this spot right above here, again remembering that that 1 above in the top number in the tens place was not just a 1, it's a 10. So 10 times 10 giving me 100. These are partial products I must remember to add, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Giving me, making sure I'm adding correctly, 221 for my final answer. Rewatch that and pause as you go to make sure you're following step by step. Because your job now is to do these next two, is try them on your own. Try them on your own in your notes. 41 times 21. So making sure that you are multiplying each place value and writing your answers down below. Okay? Same thing with 18 times 19. Multiplying and making sure you're writing each of the products down below. They will be partial products down there, so you must remember to add to get your final product. Complete those in your math journal and you are done.